Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us. Let's continue, shall we? All right, let's take a look around, get stocked up. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that these guys are not dropping ammo. I know that they probably made it rare, but this seems, like, incredibly rare. Like, overly rare. That they're not, like, dropping anything, and it's kind of upsetting me quite badly. It is cool, though, that I'm getting tons of random items, but I'm not getting ammo, and I'm just... Like, there's just nothing. Unless I'm, like, getting really unlucky... This is stupid. Because this is insanely bad luck, if so. Earlier, it's like I could hardly get ammo at times, but I was, like, doing decent, though. It was just items were impossible. Now it seems like it's, like, items are the most easiest damn thing, and ammo is just non-existent. Okay, we're halfway there. <laughs> <coughs> He got killed by an infected. Awesome. There's one weapon I can't wait to get because it'll definitely help out quite a lot. But... Yeah, this is quite ridiculous though by having like no ammo this entire time. I shouldn't be suffering this hard. Of course, I find a random freaking pistol with only one bullet. It's like, wow, you should be happy. You got one bullet. It's like, I only got two bullets in my freaking name, and I've hardly been able to keep one. <laughs> because, like, their eyesight is, like, freaking hawk level. I always complain that it's like, <laughs> it's stupid that they can't <laughs> move in grass, but damn. Anything else in here? I kind of had to run off instantly before really exploring this 100%. Nope. And the bookstore. Oh, thank goodness. Ammo. <laughs> what, did, did the game feel bad? <laughs> I know it's giving me what I want, but I find it funny that as soon as I complain, I find, like, freaking two more bullets. At least one's a shotgun, so... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't more wine more pistol ammo. That stuff is like really good to have, especially if um you actually hit your shots. Where is it? There it is. I think it's in here. Oh, it's a bottle. Damn. <laughs> yeah, let me just make noise so I could get an item to make more noise. <laughs> If that makes sense. I don't think there, there was anything else. I think this is it. I think it was all leading to this. Or maybe not? No. It was awesome that I was able to get that entire encounter done before the episode um, ended. Okay, I have to go around. Hey, Dina. No! No! Hold on a second. Okay, there's nothing. Alright, I'm coming. Hey. 
that round building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> I don't know how I would have done all this without you. Look at you. Shut up. I never would have let you do this by yourself. Oh shit! <gasps> oh. A trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Hey, cuties. Do you know I wouldn't get that close? Get Stop shooting it. Stop shooting it. There we go. Some more? What? I didn't know this was a possibility. That's cool. I didn't know that was a possibility. Oh, there's a trap. Happy to be back in Bill's town. Candelabra. All right. Real name Sophie Acoin. Bra brain 60, bronze 80. Affiliation Society of Champions. A beacon on the darkest night, the heroine earned her moniker when people first saw fire emitting from her hands and flowing through her hair. Originally from the volcanic over in region of France, she fell into an a active lava pool while protecting her little brother from Dr. Uckman's henchmen. Left for dead, she emerged from the pool alive and capable of wielding fire as a weapon. So long as she didn't get, doesn't get cold when not working with the Society of Champions, she spends her days hunting Dr. Uckman, whom she believes is holding her brother captive. Hero. <laughs> <coughs> Neat. So she must be screwed when it gets to winter. Alright. I, mean, I could have gone for that way. I like the more explosive way more so I don't have to deal with them. I don't know why he freaked out. Didn't seem that bad. As long as you don't land weird, you should be fine. What's that? 
Aviv, I hope this gets to you. I saw what happened. The WLF broke into your place and carried out all the stuff Jimmy took. Jewelry, IDs, ration cards. He wouldn't answer their question. Just kept saying he didn't know where any of it came from. I tried to talk to them, explain how hard it is been here. How Fedra got, forgot about us and we all had to do things we're not proud of. They seemed to calm down. Then they found a seraphite player in, uh, in his pocket. We tried to stop them. I'm so sorry. Rawl and Heather. Huh. <laughs> Holy shit. These were all shot. Tommy. Look. It's Tommy's. In fact, it didn't number on this one. Okay? Yeah, sorry, it's just that the smell. <sighs> All right. I must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. Trying to be careful in case there's more. Austin didn't have a full blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. Actually, that's a good. Hmm. So, have the fireflies ever been here? We haven't seen anything. Sucks when it gets into woodsy areas like this because it makes it really hard to see. More bodies. More shot bodies. Tommy definitely came this way. I bet he went through there. <sighs> Solid barricade. Okay, well, not going this way. Stop. Tripwire. Oh shit. Catch. <clears throat> Probably for infected. Stop. <laughs> Smart. That works. Yeah. I've seen Joel do this. Rebecca, by now you realize I didn't get on the bus. I love you, but I don't understand how you can stand by these effing fascists. They killed one of my neighbors, dragged him on his knees, and shot him in front of his own home. His name was Jimmy. I'd known him since he was 13. When I caught him swiping a magazine from my shop, I was the first person he came out to. He said this weird prayer before he died. I keep replaying it in my mind. May the current be calm. May she guide me home. I'm going to head up to the cabin, figure out what to do next. I hope you'll come to your senses and meet me there, Fran. Uh, that was the person with all the supplies and that prayer thing. I'm guessing it was the WLF that did that then. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about all the coffin link in these episodes, but... I just want to play more of this, and because I'm recording it, it happens to be what I have to do together. <gasps> Yo! 
thought that was not good for myself. Oh man, that was close. Yeah, they're getting tricky to see. Can I just go around? Okay. Wonder who did this though. Was it the WLF or someone else? I'll wait to go in there real quick. Awesome. Bizarbra? Bizarbra. Real name Bahar Riza. Brains 80, brawn 100, affiliation none. Young Bahar Riza once had a promising career in science, but her stint as Dr. Uckman's assistant ended in catastrophe. During one of Uckman's unauthorized experiments, she was doused with an early dangerous form of strength-giving formula, causing all of her muscles, even the ones in her face, to become impossibly swole. Ridiculously strong and a danger to everyone around her, she was shunned by society. On her own, for years seeking revenge, she recently found a friend and ally in the aged and frail Nalidi the Youthful, providing the opposite attract, neutral. So, not good, but not either a villain. What's <coughs> this? Make sure you take the envelope to the bank before Monday AM. Made the combo the last six digits of Stacy's phone number. Figured that'd be easy for you to remember. Heh. <laughs> 206-55501 Can't read the freaking rest. Okay, so I have to guess. Wait, call Stacy. 550133. I'll just try to remember 33. How about that? Let's remember. I, I did not have to process that. Why the frick was there a clicker with no legs? <laughs> oh wow, that was perfect. Oh my gosh, ammo! Why is it like constantly telling me there's something I can do? Or like there's something new. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it's talking about. It's weird. Good thing I noticed that sign. Don't go for the complete front. Actually, everything seems pretty close up in here, so I'm going to just kick this with me. Let's head up this way and go around. <gasps> oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Wait. <laughs> oh, thank you. It put me around. <laughs> Probably should have made sure. Oh.
with that. Bottle. Can't see him, so that doesn't help. <clears throat> Hold on, let me take a. <coughs> okay, right there. <coughs> Seriously? <sighs> I hate everything. I couldn't tell if that was actually over or not. I guess I should have known based on it not having the, the invisible line. How is that not hitting it? Please. For the life of me. Just blow up. Oliver. Please help me, my friend. <laughs> I am not doing well. Felt like that was gonna be too high. Is it what about the other one? How about that? Is it just like hitting the wall right above it, I'm guessing? Is that what the issue is here? Just ran into that. Can't climb up that. <gasps> There's an... <laughs> I am not touching that fence. There it is. Stay low. I'm just gonna walk across. I like how there's more news vans over here. You see way in? Not yet. <clears throat> Maybe we could climb up. <coughs> I say that would be the best idea.
<laughs> Let's get inside. <laughs> oh, damn. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> there it is. I thought I had to be missing it somewhere. <laughs> oh, I better get. Uh, hold on a second. Need a cough drop. <laughs> Work your magic cough drop. I'm so happy that doesn't count as a hit. I feel like other games <laughs> do that and that sucks. Because it feels like other bullcrow when they do it. I would really like to see Tommy's version of all this. Get to play as him or something. Awesome. Dang it. No, 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 no. Oh, didn't even know that was updating. 
I'll have to check what's going on with that later. Oh. Thought I was going to have to help Dina go across, but that was fully barricaded. Camila. Real name Camila Green. Bra Brains 80, Brawn 60. Affiliations Society of Champions. After her family lost their house to a greedy developer's young scientist Camila, Green public protests fell on deaf ears. Frustrated, she turned her research in animal behavior into a means of political action. Many late nights at the lab. Um, culminated in a device that allows her to telepathically communicate with animals. Now, as a member of the Society of Champions, Camilla brings her animal allies to places around the world where civil strife and avarice <laughs> threaten to force people from their homes. And when evildoers don't listen to her, she let her animals do the talking hero. Better watch it or I'll make my bear molly to death. <laughs> Rue Olober told me those guards you brought in from the coast talked. I heard Isaac is quite impressed with you. I know you've been having doubts, but you got the power through it right now. Show him what happened at the coast wasn't a one-off and you'll be set for life. Think about how few people get this chance. I'm proud of you, Dad. There's Leah. <clears throat> it's her. Leah. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Guess the universe really wanted her dead, huh? There's nothing on her. <clears throat> It's near Jackson. Look at their fucking smiles. That's her. That's the one who killed him. Three down, right? <coughs> We can talk to her. Yeah. But she didn't hurt you. <laughs> it would have been kind of fucked up to make her talk. She traveled hundreds of miles to torture him. I don't care whether she held the club or not. Shit. Let it down. Christ. They're all dead. Fucking scars killed them. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six of them. <coughs> get Two of them. Why? Well, that's four of them, so there's only two others left. One more left. No, two left, okay. Come on! Get the hell off me! Hi! Okay, that should be it. And he's still standing. Where was that guy with the hammer? I'll take that. Really? I really guessed that. Keep going. Score the head. 
masks. Okay. Damn, you wouldn't be able to do this in the last game. You'd be screwed. <laughs> What fun! Oh, well, I'm guessing one's dead. Oh, you're done. Found me, good for you. Can you still live? Ah, oh, poor Kevin. Damn, dude. It's always interesting to see him run away. Is there really only two left? Well, you didn't make it. Better for us. Two clickers left. that fast. That's a bullet. I guess I can have my light on now.
Look at that booty. That booty be popping. All right. Well, now that they're all dead, thanks to the clickers. We shouldn't hang out here for too long. Grab what you can, and then let's move. Awesome. I don't think we're in any danger, actually. I think it's just all noise. I don't see the game doing that type of interesting move. Not really interesting, it would just be annoying, but... Wow. It's, it's cool seeing that sign because it's basically a sign of the infection happening. And them trying to deal with it without probably even knowing what's going on. I like how one found me, but he couldn't like like do anything because he had to run away or he was going to get grabbed instantly. Take our time. That blade is completely dead end. There we go. Now it's just I'm gonna get that next. That to me is the most important thing next. Is try to get like the full sensor thing. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoy it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.